A new community performing arts center is set to open its doors to the public very soon. Joining us now is Ryan Levitt, the owner of the Levitt Center, which is located at 1030 East Sublet. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. So thank tell you. me, what, what, uh, what was the thought process behind, I want to take this and I want to transform this building into a community center? Uh, well, for about 10 years, actually, I've, we've looked at this building. Uh, my, my original thought it would be a great place to play music and have dance classes and performances. And hmm. about three years ago, the building came up for sale again, and we it was in a range that we could afford. So my wife and I decided we would take the chance and go after it. And so now, after several years of remodeling and work and time and <laughs> a lot of effort and a lot of people helping, uh, we've got the building to a place where we can open for classes next week. So very good. Now, what kinds of classes? You have quite a variety of things that people can take here. Yeah, we we um, we are going to be doing percussion classes, uh, violin and viola classes, like symphony type classes, mm -hmm. um, uh, hip hop dance classes, uh, ballet, musical theater classes. I think, uh, and then uh, and those are for children, more of the more of the younger folks. And then then and then the evenings or the weekends, we'll be doing classes for adults as well. So. Okay. So is music and dancing and the arts a part of your background, a part of your forte? I, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a music I lover, you know. I, I play guitar and sing and been involved in different groups and uh -huh. up at ISU and growing up in different bands and things. So my, my dream is always to have a place to, to do those kind of things, and this has evolved into something a lot bigger and a lot nicer, so we're excited about it. Very cool. And you uh, have hired a whole bunch of teachers to come in and teach a variety of different things from throughout our community. Yep, we've we brought in several several teachers uh, to come in, professional dance teachers and singers, and uh, violin teachers. Our violin uh, teacher has, has been teaching with the after school symphony program for the last seven years. Oh wow! Our dance teachers danced in Korea and Nashville. Um, our performing, uh, I'm sorry, our theater teacher, she has worked for Disney, oh. and our percussion teacher, he's been working with Pocatello High School and helped them win a lot of awards for that kind of thing. So we get a lot of professionals, and it's going to be great. So this sounds like a, not just a, a, a place to come and gather, but it kind of sounds like a place where, you know, people who love the arts and people who love music and dancing get to kind of share that love with, with a whole new generation of people. Yeah, we, we hope to bring in all sorts of people and, you know, with different uh, demographics and be able to teach classes to every everybody who's interested in the arts and let people perform where they may not have an opportunity to do that in other places. So it uh, should be nice. Now with musical theater and all of these different things, are there going to be future performances then that people can um, come and witness at your, your oh, center? Yeah, hopefully so. We're, we're actually building a theater, a new theater in the building as well. Uh, the building itself is in 1938. It's an old church here in Pocatello. Uh, it's on 10th Street, 10th and Sublet. And we had to tear the entire building apart, and then none of it is is the original building, other than bricks around the outside. Right. Uh, we had to put a new, uh, you know, a new roof. I think we new, do have some pictures of that also. Oh, um, good. Yeah, it'd be great if we could. The uh, the building we've 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 remodeled a, a big section out into a new studio, a new dance studio, a thousand square foot studio with new office and entryway and uh -huh. all new electrical and it's really really pretty new windows new roof right. everything, everything. So. so in the whole process and you said it's taken about three years three years <laughs> so far to, to uh, make these uh, changes to it uh, what has been the most satisfying part of it for you aside from you know the completion of it as this process has unfolded what have you gained from this oh wow a lot of a lot of, <laughs> a, lot of <laughs> a lot of experience headaches. oh yeah a lot of headaches <laughs> lost lost sleep uh Lots we trip to home improvement stores we've we've uh yeah we're on first name basis with everybody <laughs> in town sells materials um yeah we've had a lot of a lot of good experiences there and a lot of people are yeah, i think what the most gratifying is to see people that have that know about the building who have been there it was a church past church you know an lds church and the pocatel bible church so for 80 years, it's been used here in town. You know, it has a lot of history. So a lot That's of people true. love it. So now you're starting classes on the seventh. Can people still sign up? Yep. And people how do they do that? Actually, as of the first, uh, if people go to levittcenter.com. Mm -hmm. uh, they can go on. There's an open registration right now. There's actually a discount for anybody who signs up for classes right now. Classes are really affordable. Any family in Pocatello, any person could afford to take oh, a cool. class there. Right. And um, it's really exciting. It should be really nice for everyone. Very, Very cool. Good. Sounds right. like. So. Uh, an awesome project. Yes. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.